Has any of you ever wondered what's inside a Coca-Cola Freestyle machine? How the machine works? Well, this is basically it. So, for when you open the drawer, you'll see a t at the bottom of the drawer, um, you'll see a bunch of different boxes, like cartridges. These are what you see. This is the way it'll look when you, when you have them in the machine. Maybe a little black door you pull down and it's a little uh, black tray that holds these together, plastic tray, and you pull it out and then these are resting upside down like this with the spouts right here. This is the way they go in. So it look like that when you pull them out. All of all the letters should be facing this way. So anyway, I know I'm holding it awkward, but I'll have to flip it later. Anyway, so inside these cartridges and all well, these boxes is a bag. Just like this plastic sealed bag and normally when they're brand new there's a little plastic uh, pull tab up here like a little uh like if you're opening a brand new bottle of syrup or um a spice of some kind that has a plastic seal you just pull it has a little pull tab and you just pull it right off and then from there you basically on top of that there's a plastic cap that covers this and you just pull that off and pull the pull tab and inside um, this is a better one right here you can see there's a little stopper inside a little stopper inside this if this is missing all the liquid will pour out I've had that happen so anyway let's cut one of these open and see what's inside nothing is inside of course but nothing is really inside of there other than the liquid. And that's it. I mean, these are empty, so that's why I was able to obtain these. But all it is is a very concentrate, concentrated version of Coke. This is Coke Zero. But you can see... It is super, super dark, very, very dark. Look, and when I pour it, look at, you could just see how dark and concentrated it is. I just tasted some of this and oh man, I com completely from under, from what I expected. This is super, if you get the Coke Zero and try it, it is super, super, super bitter. It's like a bitter, sourish taste. So I've always wanted to know what these really taste like. This is the zero sugar, mind you. The regular version might be a lot better. But yeah, this is it. This is what you, these are what you have to refill. And these go out probably the last maybe three weeks. I placed this about three weeks ago and um, I already had to do it again. So yeah, these only last about three weeks. I did try mixing coke zero this with another coke it's a tapping free coke basically tastes exactly like a regular coke this is what i added to that just to see what it would taste like the foam that came up the bud the bubbles carbonation was a lot darker than normal but trying it it tastes sweet I do taste the Coke Zero. I basically made this caffeine-free Coke into a Coke Zero, caffeine-free Coke Zero, but um, it, it just depends. You, if you're gonna put a very concentrated version of Coke, you gotta put very little of it because a little bit will take you a long way in flavor. So yeah, definitely cool. Definitely uh, really wonder too what else you can do with these like i've seen those soda streams from target or wherever the basically a machine or walmart basically you can buy one of those and they come with co2 cartridges and you can make your own soda at home of any flavor and or you they have these pepsi cartridge like these pepsi mixes that they sell there too and you can use that to 
to use, you know, for the soda stream to make a Pepsi Zero or whatever kind of flavoring they have. So makes you wonder if you could take one of these, cut it open, pour it, and use it for a soda stream. Future video might come up on that. I do have a Sprite cartridge and I do have a, a two pack of Coca Cola full right here. So I have two of these put together in Coke. So maybe we'll try the Sprite. But yeah, that's basically what. And you'll see <clears throat> these two cartridges come uh, glued together. You can see, and it says apply glue here. So that's why they, they come. Coca-Cola Zero, Coke, regular Coke, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, and I think Seagram's Ginger Ale all come in two packs like this. And then they have the regular singles like Fanta and Sprite as well. That, you know, regular ones like that. Um, they also have like a uh, Fused Tea and a few others that are like high C and... Uh, you know, Barks. A uh, Barks root beer is another one that comes in a two pack like this. So that's kind of the way they work. Some little background information on them. Uh, pretty easy to install. This just shows you how to, how to do it. Comes in a black cartridge like that. You pull the tab, you take the, the plastic cap off, put it in the black cartridge holder. There's pull off the tab, put it back in very simple or if you have a machine like this um basically doing the same thing except sideways but yeah that's it and if some of you were wondering how the flavoring comes out how they have so many different flavors well there's also flavorings too of these boxes they have boxes and singular packs like this dedicated just for cherry lime lemon grape basically every flavor um, they even have small cartridges like this for Powerade as well. Um, but that's how they work. Very simple. Um, that's really all they... You just slide this little uh, fitting into the plastic tray and there you go. And as you can see, they've made it to where you can use this for both Fanta and Fanta Zero. So it's basically a two-in-one. But this is just pure zero, so because we all know main Coke products, Dr. Pepper, root beer, they're all going to be um, the ones to go fastest. So that's why they have these out. But And then they also have a few cartridges that are nothing. They're basically like ingredients, like for certain ingredients that go into them, you know, like... Uh, they're not any type of sodas they're just ingredients boxes and they also have some that are with the high fructose corn syrup that's another one but that's really it that's mainly how these work and another thing too you see these little white labels here you can kind of see in the light there's like a little box in them like a little chip you tap this to the little soda if you ever look on a freestyle machine Right about here, right where the door is, right about where I'm pointing, there's a little soda bottle, a Coke bottle. And all you need to do is just tap this box right on that on that Coke thing or this chip here. And the door will open and it will show you, you know, what needs to be replaced. And then once you replace them, it'll agitate them for a little bit and then it will then it'll give you the option to prime them. Every one of these boxes needs to be primed and shaken around so for it to fully work. But that's really it. That's kind of the background information I have on the Coca-Cola Freestyle. I really wish Coke would do a lot more with this. As you can see, they could really bring a whole lot, a whole line, I should say, a whole line of the Freestyle machines to home slash, you know, public use, you know, for... You know, they, people can rent some out for, for parties that they have, you know, maybe at a golf course or at a neighborhood gathering. They can rent one out or they can even buy one and use one for home. And they can pay for a service to, you know, buy what you need and they'll keep shipping you new stuff. But that would be a really cool idea if they made it a home product line. But anyway, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
we will see you in the next one hope you guys get a little info on how these work if you're ever curious on on how they work and what they look like but anyway that'll do it see you in the next one